Hey folks, how's it going? Southern experience, if you don't know me already, Steve. There's two Steves that I know of, Steve L and myself. My full name's Steven, but everybody calls me Steve. But uh, on my way to work Saturday morning, my weekend to work in the shop today. Uh, so kind of a cloudy, dreary day. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but been raining for a few days here. It didn't rain last night, fortunately. I ain't been able to get my bike out for two days. Alarm clock telling me get your butt to work. Should have been there already, but don't open for another 10 minutes. It takes me 13 to get there. Hey folks, how's it going? Southern experience here. Hope you guys are having a great day, great morning. Good morning to you. It's about 10 to 7 my time. On my way to work. weekend to work on the, in the shop smoking my Dr. Graybull poker and in it I'm smoking my last sample to try Drew Estates Central Park Stroll gifted to me by the infamous Piper McG. Who is an awesome man, by the way, and if you're not sub to him, you need to go sub him. Very genuine. Extremely true, honest man to the heart. And Drew Estates is going way up in my book. I mean, I haven't tried too many of them. I never had a bad, uh, bad thought towards them or, or didn't like them or nothing. I, I hadn't really tried any of them. I tried the Grand Central, which if you remember I said tasted like waffles and syrup. Which was awesome by the way then me and the wife we went to Rapid City which is about 30 miles from Mount Rushmore but we went there we had a meeting we had to go to for because she sells Avon she sold uh, over ten thousand dollars so they have a big dinner and uh, uh, an awards dinner and everything so we went there well there's a new tobacco shop opened up in uh, in Belfouche South Dakota called the man cave and I had heard about that about two months ago and we didn't have time to go to it then so we decided we made time to go yes uh, not yesterday when we went to rapid last weekend I have a point to what I'm saying, I promise. But anyway, um, and we walked in there, and it's mainly a cigar sh cigar and knife shop. They had about six no-name cheap pipes. You could tell they were machine-processed and, you know, 
they looked pretty nice but I wasn't sure on them didn't have a brand just said made in Italy I guess but and I didn't want to pick one up at the time because I've, I've got quite a few pipes they did have Missouri Meerschaum corn cobs though so that was a plus in my book they had check tools that was a plus in my book so at least they know kind of what they're looking for and it's the Sturgis Tobacco Company or pipe or cigar company or something like that anyway they had some Drew Estate tins in there and I didn't pick any up I was in there for uh, cigars uh, trying to pick out my first cigars and they had a lot of them they had the red dot Cohibas they had Nurkas they had a whole bunch of other brands I never heard of and then they had acid cigars by Drew Estate and so I got my phone out and I'm going through the list and I'm, uh, you know, I'm not wanting to blow my brains out with a super heavy cigar. I mean, I've already experienced nicotine hit with gaslight, and that kicked my butt. I didn't like that. That was not fun for me. But anyway, so I went through there, and I'm walking through, and I took like a half hour trying. I was the only one in there, me and my wife. Felt like I was wasting guys time but I wanted to make sure I picked out a good cigar for me so finally it come down to it I, I, I should have picked up the couple tens but we had a sit we set ourselves an amount when we go to town so we don't go over it and it was real close to it so I only picked up I picked up three cigars I picked up a acid blonde bellicoso yeah, it's a torpedo. Uh, it was a five by fifty or fifty-two, I think is what they are. Uh, and I smoked that on the way home. They had their humidor at seventy-one percent humidity, and from watching Oki cigar and pipe smoker, he said he likes to keep his between sixty-five and seventy. I think if I understood that right. So I said, well, they should be good to go. And these had obviously been in there a while, so you know they had been sitting. You know, the box was about empty, but so I grabbed one of those. I grabbed uh, just a straight blonde, and then I grabbed a 1400 cc. All these by acid. I smoked that Bellicosa on the way home. It's a two and a half hour ride on the way home, and I run out of time to smoke it. But man did I love that cigar I was in heaven and I was feeling what uh, Danny Shore said on his cigar video that he had when somebody sent him that uh, turtle brand or some something with a turtle on it on the label cigar and he said man I don't need another hobby I can't afford the one I got now I'm the same way if I get started in them cigars I'm I, I can barely afford this. I'm talking too much. There we go. And so I've been hankering for that next one. But I've been waiting. Might smoke it tonight. Or this afternoon while the boys are taking a nap. They generally take a good two, three hour nap. And I'm thinking that'll give me enough time. I'm thinking I'll go for the shorter one. Whoops, sorry. I uh, think I'll save the big one for the 1400 for when I uh, have another long road trip. But I bought a Humi pouch while I was there, so that way they stay in the plastic bag with a Humi pouch and stay 
good. Probably should open it today and let it air out a little bit. So yeah, I love that acid cigar. Blonde Bellicosa. So, yeah. Torpedo. I, and I really like the torpedoes. The other ones, they're not a torpedo. They're, uh, I don't know what shape you call them. Uh, just a rounded back. But, man, I enjoyed that thing. Oof, duh. Sweet. Woo. I was in heaven. And this stuff is really good. About halfway through the bowl. Started it while I was getting ready. And it's got that same, it's the smell is the same sweetness. Of course, I'm not, I don't have the wrapper taste to, to add on to it, but that acid cigar to me was a lot like the Grand Central and this Central Park stroll together. And sweetness and flavor and smell and ah, oh. so yeah, I'm starting on the bottom. I've I've seen people say that those acid cigars are not real cigars. Hey, work for me. I think they're a real cigar. They're shaped like one. They look like one. They smoke like one. So I call them a real cigar. And they're more expensive than some of the other big brands I've seen. I did happen to find a website where I can get a box of them for just under a hundred dollars. Problem is I don't have a humidor. But I do have a humi pouch so I can probably do a five at a time, which is more expensive to do five at a time, but but anyway. Uh, ordered a new pipe yesterday for Father's Day. My wife bought me a new one. That way it would get here by Father's Day so I can enjoy it. And uh, so then we decided last night, my next one, and I'm hoping to order it by the end of, uh, I think we said July. I'm coming for you, Rick. Mr. Rick Black, you're the next pipe I buy. So we're saving for that right now. Got 20 bucks put away for it. And uh, she's thinking we should be able to buy it by the end of July. Maybe be able to buy it before then. Depends on how the finances work. So that's the plan. I'm coming for Mr. Rick Black on the next pipe. So I got to start looking through and picking out which one, how I want it made or whatever. And uh, so uh, seen somebody else got another Rick Black. And man, I'm stinking jealous. Seen Carmen Kelly Pipe Girl, she put one up yesterday. She put her mini nose warmer up for sale on eBay. So if you want a Rick Black, uh, I don't have the money for it right now. Uh, she's also got a 320. And something ha I tried to buy it yesterday, but something happened with eBay and it won't let me buy it. I don't know what the deal is, but it keeps saying something about an invalid quantity. So I was pissed off. I couldn't buy it. So, I ended up buying uh, another pipe, but uh, if you want a 320, or if you just want a couple cheap Dr. Grables, or if you want a Rick Black nose warmer, a mini nose warmer, which she has, is four inches long, inch and a half tall, I think, uh, three quarter bowl, uh, go see Carmen Cali Pipe Girl's eBay site, it's Carmen Girl, and there's some, or Carmen G, and there's some, uh, uh, some numbers behind it. I can't remember what those are, but you go check those out uh, She's got really good prices on them. If I had the money, I'd go buy them um, I wanted to buy that Rick Black after I bought my other pipe yesterday, but I couldn't do it um, So but you guys uh, have a good weekend. I'm at work now, so I got to get off this thing, but um, I Told you it took me 13 minutes to get to work uh, But you guys uh, take care uh, Go check out Carmen's eBay uh, support the local community uh and rick black i'm coming for you buddy uh gonna get me a pipe from you so i gotta start looking uh but anyway uh you guys take care the central park stroll good stuff 
Highly recommend it. I would buy it. Like I said, Drew Estate went way up in my books, you know, because I had never tried them. So they, they got a top spot for me now. And I've loved everything so far. Uh, Going to stay with them uh, on some stuff. Uh, but you guys take care. We'll see you.